Hello and welcome to the Snowflake session on procedures using SQL. Today's topic is alerts and notifications. Alerts are used when you want to send a notification, for example, an email, when Snowflake data meets certain conditions. You may want to create an alert when your account usage goes beyond a certain set limit. Or you may want to send a notification email when new records are inserted into a table. Alerts are nothing but a schema object, similar to your procedure or table. Alerts can be created using create alert statement. The definition of an alert composes of three main components. The first one is the condition which will be evaluated inside the alert. The second is the action that, that is to be taken when the condition is successfully evaluated. And third is the schedule, the frequency with which the alerts will be evaluated. Now to create an alert, we need several privileges. One of the important privileges is execute alert privilege at account level. And the second one is create alert privilege on the schema in which you are going to create the alert. Now, before we move to the actual demo, let's create some users and procedures and grant necessary privileges. So here I'm going to create a new role for this demo. So let's run this statement to create a new role. The next is we will grant the execute alert privilege to this role at account level. So let's run this statement. Then we will grant the create alert at the schema level to this role. Then we will grant this usage uh, privilege uh, at the schema level for the lev for this role. Then there are some other statements that will grant usage on the database and warehouse level. Now we are going to create a new user. So let's create this user. And we will assign this role to the new user. Now we are going to access uh, some tables from the Snowflake schema. So this schema stores some tables and uh, some views. Uh, which basically store the uh, metadata information of uh, Snowflake. So let's grant this privilege. And finally, we are going to grant uh, the DML operations uh, to this role in, in our new uh, schema that we have created. All right, now the next step would be, uh, I will log in uh, to Snowflake using this new user and uh, then we will uh, move to the new next demo. Okay, um, I have now logged into the Snowflake using this new user. Now let me switch to the new role, uh, my dev role, and let's go to the worksheet. So here I have already written the uh, create alert statement. Now let's uh, go and understand this uh, syntax uh, of the statement. So the create or replace alert, and uh, then comes the name of your alert. So I have pre prefixed it with the database name uh, and the schema name. Uh, after that, we have this clause warehouse equal to, and then the name of the warehouse. So this is the warehouse that will be used to process this alert. Now, then we have the schedule clause, which says one minute. This means that every one minute, this alert will be evaluated. Next comes the if clause. So this is the condition which will be evaluated. Now this condition uh, checks uh, a particular table, uh, which is called as warehouse metering history. This is a metadata table that stores the information of the credits that are used uh, by your account. And uh, it stores this information at every uh, no, interval of one one hour or so. Now, in this if statement, I'm uh, taking sum of credits used and uh, I'm looking for the start time between the last 24 hours. So this means that uh, we are going to sum of the, we're going to check the sum of the credits used for the last 24 hours. And uh, outside this bracket, I've got this where clause. So what this means is, uh, it will uh, it will select this one uh, one literal 
only when the sum of the credits used is more than 0 0.5 so this is our alert so we are going to check if the sum of the credits used is more than 0 0.5 and once this condition is evaluated as true then we will come to this then clause and uh, then the alert will insert a record into a new table that I have created. It's called as monitor credit usage. And it will insert uh, the sum of this credit used and the current timestamp, the timestamp at which the alert is evaluated uh, from this table. And we have got this similar condition over here. We, will, we are checking the uh, credits used for the last 24 hours. So let's run this statement. So the alert has now been successfully created. Now, when you create a new alert, it's by default in suspended status. So we have to uh, manually go and uh, resume the alert. So let's do that now. So the alert has now been resumed. Now I have created this new table uh, in which we are going to insert the credits, uh, some of the credits. Let's check this table. It's currently empty. Yes, it is empty. Now we have uh, resumed the alert. Now after the one minute, let's go and check if the alert has, uh, has been uh, successfully evaluated or not and uh, the data has been inserted or not. So let's wait for one minute. Uh, so while we wait, while we are waiting for my one minute, uh, let's go and run this query and just check um, how much are the actual credits used uh, in last twenty four hours. So let's run this select statement. So yeah, some of the credits used is one point zero. So our uh, alert should definitely be uh, executed correctly and uh, it, since it's more than 0 0.5 the condition would be evaluated as uh, successful and uh, it should insert a record into this table so let's wait for a minute uh, let me check this table again oh, nothing here yet And uh, in a similar way, you can also suspend a uh, alert if you want to by running this statement. Okay, the uh, record has now been inserted. You can see that the sum of the credits used is 1.1 and the insert timestamp is also inserted. So yeah, this is how the uh, Alerts can work if you want to insert uh, records into a table based on the successful evaluation of the alerts. Okay, now uh, let's learn how to send an email via Snowflake. So before we send an email, we need to create a notification integration. Notification integration is an object that acts as a intermediate between Snowflake and third party email tools. Uh, at one account level, we can create maximum 10 notification integrations and one or more of them can be enabled simultaneously. Now before we create this notification integration, uh, all the recipients of your email should be uh, Snowflake uh, users and all these users uh, should have an email address attached to their account and all those email addresses should be verified. So now let's go ahead and verify the email address for this new user that we have recently created so to do that i'll have to go to this dev user then click profile and then resend the verification email so once this is done uh, this email id that has been registered under this account will receive an email and we just have to press one button inside the email and verify the email so let's do that now So an email is being sent uh, to this email address by Snowflake. So let's close this and uh, let me go to the email provider's website. 
so let's get the email to arrive okay we have got the email now okay the email has now been verified and let me go back to snowflake now and just check again let me refresh this page the email has now been verified now the next step is uh, to create the notification integration so we'll create that using my account admin privilege so let me re-log in using account admin and let's create the notification integration okay so now let's create this notification integration so the syntax is create or replace notification integration then the name of the integration followed by type equal to email then enabled equal to true and allowed recipients equal to the email addresses you can specify multiple comma separated email addresses here and uh, make sure that all these email addresses are verified in snowflake account so let's run this statement okay the integration is now created then we are going to grant a usage on this integration to this new role now this means that all the users that are attached to this role they can send an email using this integration but for this demo we are just going to use account admin to send the emails now to send the emails the syntax is call system dollar dollar send email then within brackets we will specify the name of the integration then the to list uh, the recipient list to whom we are going to send the emails then the subject and finally the body of the email now let's run this statement okay the email should have now been sent let's go to your email account and just check if we have indeed received the email okay we have now received this email so let's go back to snowflake now now the next uh, example that uh, we have is we can uh, create an alert and send an email uh, via this alert once new records are inserted into a table so let's take a look at this example so we have created a new table uh, which is called as claims data and here in the if condition we are checking if the this table has got any records in records inserted uh, between uh, uh, current time and the last successful scheduled time uh, of this alert and uh, if this condition evaluates to true then uh, an email will be sent so i have already created uh, this alert and uh, i al also resume this alert now let's go ahead and insert one new record ins into this claims data table and uh, see whether we receive this email or not so currently this table is empty so let me just run a select statement on this table so the table is empty and uh, let's now insert one record okay looks like we have missed the values clause okay, the record has been inserted let's go and see the record by running select statement okay a record is inserted now since this uh, alert is already resumed now let's go ahead and check our email box it might take one minute to receive the email because the schedule is one minute for this alert so let's go to the mailbox now Okay, we have now received this email that the new well, after the new record has been inserted. Let's go back to Snowflake now. So yeah, this is all about uh, uh, this session regarding alerts and notification. Uh, I hope uh, you have learned now to how to create alerts and notification and how to send an email via 
Snowflake. Thanks for watching.